Welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. This is part of the North American King of the Hill. Upper left hand corner, we have Artosis starting as the Brown Terran. He's, I'm actually really excited for Artosis recently because he's been pushing hard to make it into BSL this next season. I do believe he's going to make it this time. He's got a slew of accounts and has been really grinding. Upper right hand corner, potential opponent out in BSL land. We have Jayun starting as the Red Protoss. Jayun originally Zerg, has switched to Protoss. Could be an interesting matchup. In particular, because I feel like Jayun's playstyle lines up against Artosis' playstyle particularly well. Jayun likes playing the very greedy, aggressive macro Protoss style, where he's just going to grab as many bases as he possibly can and hope that his Terran opponent is going to play a little bit more shelled up, maybe go for that level 2 weapons, level 1 weapons timing push, and he's just going to be able to swarm from there. His Protoss is actually, so he's been getting some PvP training, which was, I would say, his weakest matchup from TT1, <clears throat> and he's starting to look really, really scary. His versus Zerg was honestly the best PvZ I've seen in the Foreigner community, period, and honestly feels like it's pro level. And his PvT, not bad, but his PvP's all of a sudden looking strong as well, and maybe I shouldn't reveal that. Maybe I should just be like, nope, he's still doing Dark Templar openings. But uh, yeah, I'm looking for Jayun to potentially go deep this upcoming season, in good form. In the meantime, Looks like Artosis just putting Supply Depot down, so we're not going to see uh, Barracks Barracks Supply Depot or anything crazy like that. Just building the Barracks along Edge, so you can have the two lanes to run those Marines. Looks like it is going to be a Gateway and Assimilator to start. I assume Jayun, just knowing that he likes going for more of that macro-aggressive playstyle, is going to skip Initial Zealots and potentially go right to Cybernetics Core and that first Dragoon. Refinery being grabbed by Artosis as well, and so this leads me to believe, with this early gas take, that Artosis is thinking about playing a little bit more aggressive to start, maybe going for an unusual two-factory push, something along those lines to start off. Cybernetic score is being dropped in that corner. When we hit the 100 resources, I'll check back to see whether a zealot's being built. And it looks like Artosis is going to get first scout as that SCV is making its way to that top right corner. And it looks like we aren't seeing initial zealot. We do have that pylon beforehand. Cybernetic score about halfway finished. And yeah, I'm, expect I'm expecting some sort of factory play out of this from Artosis, because he's keeping all three SCV on gas. It is possible he'll go for one factory into expand, but we'll see how Jayun is able to repel it. And waiting on that cybernetic score. One pylon, two pylon, that pylon hid to the north. And I'm wondering if Artosis is keeping pylon counter even bothering. First factory down, he has pulled SCV out of gas. So it looks like rather than going for one racks into expansion, he just maybe potentially here, upon scouting this, wants to grab a factory and potentially go for that uh, machine shop siege tech into expand build. This is on Vermeer, by the way. Vermeer, one of the more popular maps, might end up being the new polypoid. People like it. It is one of those just kind of standard maps, but it does have a little bit of a different flavor. Plus one weapons being researched by Jayun, so trying to sneak around and mess with Artosis a little bit, SCV is going to confirm that that did not finish. Instead, Nexus being grabbed at the natural expansion. And we'll see if this ends up just being a factory. Yeah, if this ends up being an aggressive factory, just a single vulture to start or what. Yeah, just a single vulture being produced, three Marines. And I wouldn't be shocked to see Artosis, yeah, move out those three Marines, bring up two SCVs, and maybe do kind of like a SCV Marine vulture push at Jayun. I don't know if he realized that it was going to be a Nexus build at this stage. Probe now scouting for Jayun, a single Dragoon out on the front. This Probe isn't going to be able to get a lot of scouting information with these two Marines. Yeah, there it goes. Seen him pull this sort of rush multiple times before to try to punish this exact sort of build. The Probe spots it now. Gets wiped out along the way. And now this is going to be a tough defense for Jayun. He went and skipped range to get an earlier robotics facility. And so he's only going to have two Dragoons and a handful of Probes to potentially fight this off. Artosis gathering up briefly on that northern i'm not sure what to call that northern slack northern galleyway alleyway northern alleyway two dragoons to defend against a lot right here second vulture moving up do we have a machine shop down machine shop also being dropped behind this a bunker already being produced the nexus is finishing it's not going to get canceled two dragoons moving across now probes coming off the line to try to get a surround now diving in actually getting on top of all of those marines so a single marine remaining there is one more marine moving up the dragoons are pressing up to go ahead and engage that the probes doing a great drill across those vultures and what an incredible defense by jayun he picked that apart 
That is about as perfect an execution of that style of defense as you'll ever see. Granted, he ended up losing a good amount of probes as a result of it, but he's still going to end up economically ahead over the long term because he should be able to double produce probes out of this Nexus. I'm curious if he's even going to grab a third. And Artosis needs to play defense now because he's only going to have that single Marine in that bunker. Range is, in fact, finished. Looks like there's an observatory two gates behind this now. Three Dragoons holding to potentially deal with vultures. It looks like mines are being researched, and Artosis is going to need mines just to stay alive out in the field. So all sorts of options now open for Jayun. Artosis is still ahead in the SCV count overall. And actually, I'm curious if that's going to continue to be the case. A little bit oversaturated at his main while this command center coming online. But it looks like Jayun is going to go ahead and sidle out to potentially grab a quick third after that impressive defense early. This Vulture might be able to slow that down, and that could be an early win for Artosis. However, there are four Dragoons out, First Observer making its way across. Looks like that Nexus is gonna get dropped. At the very least, so Artosis scouting the three o'clock initially. Let's see if he plants a mine there before taking off to go ahead and potentially keep that out of his opponent's hands. Artosis actually remains with just a slight worker lead as that natural expansion comes online. But with this quick third base take and Artosis's lack of ability to really apply pressure as a follow-up, I do believe Jane should be able to come back pretty strong as a follow-up. Vulture is just attacking what they can here before exiting out. And the observer should make its way down to go ahead and clear that double factory now up. Let's see if there's a third factory dropped. Barracks has already lifted off, potentially to do scouting for uh, anti-air, something along those lines. I'm curious if we're gonna see a robotics facility. No, Citadel of the Dune. So it looks like we're gonna see quick zealots potentially in the mid game. This is one area where Oftentimes, Jayun can end up faltering. Is is kind of in this mid game where he plays it just a little bit too light on troops, and sometimes his Terran opponent can punish this. The thing for Artosis right now is they just don't know that he has enough to punish. He's got these three vultures, and just massively outnumbered by dragoons. He's got the three mines on the front. Jayun not really putting on pressure, maybe because these vultures are here. Double machine shot follow up by the way to go ahead and fill in a lot of siege tanks which is gonna be necessary. Those vultures actually without speed getting hunted out by those dragoons dragoon summarily. Looks like one mine does catch a dragoon, so small mercies for Artosis. Third gateway being added on. Citadel of Adun is up, third base is up, probes migrating. Artosis still remaining, uh, keeping the SCV lead, but this is going to be the 37 workers across three bases, and with that saturation should end up with a, an overall positive lead, but he is doing pretty a great job of maintaining at least the worker count lead overall. In the meantime, attacking on that armory, potentially to go for level 1 weapons. The observer has been spotted in base, and this is before the additional factories have been dropped. Three siege tanks actually starting to stage a little bit forward, and I'm wondering if Artosis is thinking about going ahead and grabbing what is potentially a vulnerable third. I think Terran have a little bit an easier chore dealing with this than the other races, but you can see where a siege tank line across that edge and a, a handful of mines kind of across what across this diagonal here can end up protecting that base. And it's a little harder for Zerg and Protoss to protect it comparatively, in my opinion, especially against uh, Vulture runbys and things like that in the mid game. Academy getting dropped. So just like for comparison, you can see where a lot of vultures can swing through from both directions. And there's even, you, the Dragoon's got to hang way back here to go ahead and engage it. In fact, a forge being dropped, pylon wall already there. I'm going to assume there's going to be some cannons dropped to potentially deal with that action moving forward. Stargate, I'm not sure how to get rid of this. I'm not sure what, what the hotkey is off the top of my head to get rid of this board. But just trust me, there's Stargate up there, Temple Archives, and Arbiter Tribunal. So it's going to be a push to mid-game Arbiters for Jayun. Third factory being dropped. Artosis is playing it rather light. I think he is playing to more go for this third at this location rather than going for some sort of push play. In fact, there's the command center as I mention it. Plus one weapons is upgrading. Hasn't got that comm set to keep an eye on what his opponent is doing just yet. But as far as the supply counts, Jayun comfortably ahead uh, about where he wants to be, but not so far ahead in supply counts that he should feel comfortable. Uh, this is about dead even as far as things go. Jayun actually moving out to go ahead and grab his fourth. And like I said, Jayun likes playing economically greedy overall. A fourth and a fifth factory being grabbed. We do have a gateway flood behind this for Jayun to go ahead and allow that extra saturation to play out for him. First Arbiter on the way. Don't see any upgrades from that tribunal just yet. A couple cannons being dropped, which should free up these Dragoons to be a little bit more aggressive out in the field. 
but it's just Dragoons thus far. Did we have Zealot Leg Speed upgraded? Zealot Leg Speed just upgrading. So if Artosis did go for any aggressive maneuvers, Jane might be in a little bit of trouble just dealing with a large amount of siege tanks off the double machine shop early against just pure Dragoon. But it looks like Artosis instead building that command center on the high ground. And again, like I said, that diagonal, you can see where it's just really challenging for opponents to engage the siege tanks. You've got this big artifact right there in the middle of the map. So it's very, very safe to go ahead and grab three bases and just go for a macro race. Unfortunately, versus Jayun, a macro race will be challenging. So it's honestly, I feel like this is a very strong map for Artosis and his particular style of play is really what it comes down to because this there's a little bit more defensible. And we'll see if Jayun, yeah, opts to go for the macro race option. He is up 30 supply, which is about where you want to be to have an advantage for Protoss, working on plus one weapons himself. Looking at Stasis, first Arbiter coming online, the Zealots starting to filter in. He's trying to hold that northern alleyway as Artos is starting to mine things up and drop some turrets and, yeah, create that forward bulwark. The Maginal Line. I don't want to call it that. I want to jinx it. I also want to give a shout out to Zero, who's out in Chatland. I cannot wait for this next season of BSL to start, you guys, so I can start casting BSL. It is going to be hype. And really, you can look at this as just a BSL hype preview. If you have not already subscribed to the Patreon for BSL, take a moment and go ahead and do so. So Siege Tanks engaging forward. Jayun, ooh, taking some pot shots, trying to draw back. That army with the Arbiter moving forward. If Here's the thing, even though there's a supply count lead for Jayun at this stage, if he dives into this, particularly with the, it's not an incredible mine coverage, but with the siege tanks staggered as they are, and with this amount of vultures, I do think that would be detrimental for Jayun, would probably end up losing a lot of troops for not a lot. So, but, right this second, Artosis with the big supply lead, he's gonna go for it, mines moving their way through, and actually, never mind, this is more than I thought it was. So, two control groups of troops diving forward, Still, an okay defensive position. The Dragoon's getting boxed out by the Vultures, eating a lot of siege tank fire. This is going to force a reset in the overall troop count. Looks like that Arbiter got... Well, no, the Arbiter wasn't trailing. So the trailing siege tanks, however, are going to be able to clean up what's left of the Dragoon. So it's going to be effectively an army reset both directions. The Arbiter now moving to the north, not able to drop a stasis. The Observer picked off. Two, two Dragoons make it just to the northern position to get wiped out by that last siege tank. And as far as supplies that were lost back and forth, I think that is an Artosis' advantage. Jayun trying to press this vulture streaming out to provide some support, some mass repair on that siege tank to the north. That siege tank falls, and Jayun going for it, continuing to press this up. If he can actually take out this turret, might have something happening. Second turret being dropped by Artosis in an emergency to deal with this. Compsat being dropped as well to try to cover this. That being wiped out, and now Jayun going to hit just exiting you can see the supply counts once again evening out so artosis defending june actually got further than i thought he would and had more troops than i thought he did at that position this fourth base not yet saturated he has grabbed bottom left as well i'm not sure how he's going to saturate that bottom left hand base that's a quite a distance to cover tacking on additional gateways to play more gateway man style additional arbiter now taking the field the first arbiter got left behind a little bit so I'm not going to say that was a, well, a little bit of a miss micro. I'm curious if recall, recall is being researched. So about halfway finished, this Arbiter moving into position to potentially do that down the line. This will be the recallable field. Maybe if he can also get the armory before level two weapons comes online. Level one weapons currently, uh, I believe that finished around the, well, actually, I don't want to make a guess at that. I think around the 12 minute mark uh, for, to, well, actually, no, probably around the 11 minute mark. I think it was definitely online for that last attack. These latent, oof. These probes sneaking through very dangerous territory, going cross map. Vultures starting to stream out. They are being escorted by these dragoons. Looks like Artosis is not going to go for it. This is definitely, this feels like one of those ships going through Atlantic waters with U-boats out there sort of thing. Except vultures aren't cloaked. That would be crazy if vultures were cloaks. Can you imagine that? Anyway, saturation happening at that th three o'clock base. No second Stargate as of yet for Jayun, so I'm a little bit concerned he's going to be light on the over overter count. Science Vessel there to go ahead and engage and drop an EMP, but where is it? Recall lands in the back of the base. The Science Vessel trail didn't have enough energy for the EMP. So now a siege tank in the back lines, but all sorts of chaos in the rear of Artosis's base is going to have to draw in a lot of troops. Defense Matrix to try to help the siege tanks 
flush these Dragoons out. However, I'm not sure how, mu how much it's going to be effective. Actually, never mind. Very effective. A lot of Supply Depots getting taken out. At, at the very least for Atosis, it's just Supply Depots that have gotten wiped out in this top left corner. Otherwise especially having those two armies exposed would have been very that would have been a lot of time lost but a pretty effective drop though for Jayun picking off a lot of troops Dragoon's hiding in that corner forcing more troops back and this is also allowing him time to go ahead and saturate these additional bases get them up and running on his end of the map however my concern is is he lost that arbiter and he's a little bit light so he's got one arbiter that I see out in the field and trying to find uh, if there's another one somewhere around here I'm not seeing it but Jayun trying to expand everywhere on the map in between has a pretty solid worker count to work with pretty about 30 supply lead which is about where you want to be plus two weapons is there but i'm a little bit concerned about the lack of spellcaster units to deal with what artosis can p potentially dish out as he's moving through the stage of the map where he wants to start encroaching so this is going to be the second arbiter online so it's going to be two arbiters versus a whole lot of mech some science vessels already out in the field should uh, not neglect to say that Artosis went ahead and grabbed this 9 o'clock base in between all of those attacks. Going to go ahead and saturate it now. An Arbiter moving in to again potentially get a recall just dies. And actually that's fortunate because look at this minefield underneath. Would have absolutely obliterated any army trying to recall there. I'm wondering if Jayun realized it and opted. I wonder if it was a lack of energy or just opted not to do it, realizing the, all the vultures were there, were there in the mine position, just going to sacrifice the Arbiter anyway. But now I'm a little bit concerned because Jayun, yeah, he's got max supply. But again, for Protoss to really break through Terran mech, particularly at the plus two, plus one armor mark, you want stasis, you want side storm, you want something along those lines to really help supplant, or you want some sort of pincer attack. Right now, Jayun has to engage from an oblique angle. And there's all sorts of siege tanks to go ahead and walk up and engage that. The Zelt trying to come from the left. There is this Arbiter here. Doesn't quite have enough energy to drop a stasis just yet. It will in a second, though. You can see Jayun doesn't like the angles. Just going to pull right back out. Some mines. I'm not sure how that Zealot got all the way down there. But the Zealot's trying to go and encroach in that 9 o'clock base underneath all of this. Eating a lot of damage. Getting wiped out pretty rapidly. The Dragoons keep engaging the siege tanks to the north. They're getting wiped out summarily. And the Arbiter has been pushed out of this fray. But Jayun actually able to just kind of do an L maneuver into the 9 o'clock. And has gotten Zealots to disrupt the SCV line. All sorts of mines there. The Zealots clearing those mines into the SCVs. The Dragoons are going to have trouble though. Because the siege tanks following up. Goliath engaging that Arbiter. So at least he's able to wipe out some SCVs here. To maintain an economically nice stasis on a huge pile of those siege tanks. So wiping out the effectiveness of that nine o'clock base that will give our, that will give I'm sorry Jayun the solid supply lead also clearing out the turrets to potentially have a follow-up situation like Jayun doing the annoying thing and pocketing these troops in the corner to make it to just buy that additional amount of time to remax. However, at the end of this, you can see the supply counts. Despite Artosis losing a lot of mining at this base, the supply counts have actually moved into his favor with that last exchange. So Jayun needs to. Remax rapidly. He does have some gateways in the bottom left to potentially, oh, all sorts of gateways to pen, uh, potentially play the long term macro refugee style. Looks like he's got some several gateways in the bottom right as well. So it'll come down to Artosis once he gets near that 200 supply mark to carve through all this. Some vultures able to pick off a pro bottom right that is going to force some troops this direction. No observer. So yeah, Dragoon's going to lose their lives until they get in place. And also some probes transferring. Jayun have a, so bonuses, and that actually evens up the worker count. Oh, so many probes going to lose their lives potentially here. Zealot's moving down to go ahead and clear this minefield, but a feast of probe kills in the meantime that actually gives Artosis the overall worker lead. Granted, he does have fewer bases to work with. He's mining off three where Jayun is mining. So bottom right is kind of mining. I'm going to call that a half. So we got one, two, three, four. So f ah, that's kind of a half too. So we're going to say four bases versus three. Overall, these look fully saturated, which is about even actually. So despite having superior holdings because of the saturation, Artosis is actually running about even, although uh, floating a few more minerals here. Artosis now moving out with a huge mech army to the north. I'm gonna go ahead and check the upgrades. It looks like they're just about to finish to hit that big plus three weapons, plus two armor count. And again, the lack of arbiters and the lack of angles. It looks like Jayun knows he can't engage this army heads up. 
So potentially just going to sacrifice his main to go for a counterattack at the 9 o'clock and hope for a long-term starvation situation. Probes pulling out. Yeah, too late to pull out there. So they're going to get wiped out. And I believe that does indicate that this is the play. Jayun diving into the 9 o'clock where Artosis isn't with absolutely everything. He gets EMP'd. I'm not sure that's going to matter. That command center might get wiped out. SEV is getting obliterated. And that siege mech army now retreating to go ahead and engage this attack force. So drawing right back. And is Jayun now going to engage? Looks like he is going to sidle forward. Defense Matrix on that forward siege tank and might end up losing the entirety of his army. Honestly, he should just ignore his army at this stage. Pull it back and remax as rapidly as possible. Was able to get a lot of mining disrupted at that 9 o'clock. But hasn't sacrificed his main, is going to end up losing this base here to these siege tanks. Artos is breaking off just two siege tanks to do that damage. I, like, I love it when I see Terran players do that. So cheap. You just drop two siege tanks, let them do their work. I don't know that that weapons upgrade is going to finish behind all this. High Templar now taking the field, which is going to be a necessity for Jayun moving forward. Science vessels lurking out there, so they need to be wary. A lot of science vessels out, actually, to deal with some of these spellcaster units. Science Vessel, actually, I'm not sure what it's doing back here. Maybe just checking the probe saturation. Bottom left, this is a sacrificial unit. Dragoon's getting caught. High Templar on retreat. Looks like they've got two side storms to potentially work with. And Ortosis now bullying forward. It's essentially just a question of what base he wants to kill. Jayun, again, needs to play runaround and just whittle away at this attack force while keeping Artosis from it. This is actually, I'm going to say, a bit of a weakness in Artosis's gameplay overall. He should be grabbing this 12 o'clock base while he's able to move around and just chew in to Jayun and keep that economy rolling. Instead, he's just mining off another that base that looks like it's going to get exposed once again. Zealots being recalled in. That's again going to cause Artosis to retreat and Jayun buying himself all sorts of time to stage at other locations to get better exchanges to slow Artosis's economy and put himself in a position to win this. So doing a great job of just being a absolute frustration. This army retreating is down massive amounts of supply. Artosa still hasn't been able to attack any of the new holdings, however. Hasn't been able, so granted he took this Nexus out, but he hasn't been able to take down the three o'clock. Anything in the bottom right, anything in the bottom left of the bottom left has yet to mine. Another engagement in the middle of the map. Jayun trying to draw the forces back towards that bottom right, maybe to set up a pincer attack from reinforcements from the main and from the bottom left. As far as follow-up macro, he's down 40 supply currently. I think he's mostly hoping just to get a large portion of this army out of here. Artosis now breaking off. Well, I thought he was going to break off some siege tanks and start attacking bottom left. Instead, marching all the way around, he's kind of cut the map in half with this maneuver, and it looks like he is going to start taking some shots at bottom right. Right now down to 39 SCVs versus the 47 for Jayun, but I expect that count for Jayun to plummet rapidly. Vultures sneaking bottom left, not finding any probes there, but at least able to mix it up otherwise. Jayun cutting, going cross map and finding the one position where Artosis isn't, once again is going to try to dive into that 9 o'clock, I assume, while Artosis is engaging that 3 o'clock base. He's wiped out that natural in the bottom right. The bottom right is still mining otherwise but really hurting the economy overall. But again, Artosis is yet to expand to grab an additional base. And now he's going to be mining off. This was going to be his one mining base. He's no longer mining. Still has a powerful attack force out here. But in what is potentially a starvation matchup, he's going to have to get it done potentially with just the mech he's got on the ground. So currently a 40 supply lead, but that can very quickly dwindle, especially if Jayun's able to continue to mine. It looks like he left some emergency minerals at his main to work with. Arbiter swing back around. Now going to retreat, again, realizing, especially with that weapons upgrade advantage, he's not going to be able to engage this turrets now on the low ground. High Templar out here, maybe to drop some side storm. These could be some heroic side storms. Arbiters trying to engage from the rear. They're pincered between two armies, so they need to hurry up and do something. A bit of a stasis there to maybe buy some time. Things are looking grim for Jayun. He's still mining. If he can find a way to survive this, He's down a massive amount of supply. These siege tanks are scary, but Artosis has yet to continue mining at this nine o'clock location. It looks like he's maybe gonna stage up and take that base there, which would be a big boon to his economy. Some sty storms left. That could be absolutely massive. A science vessel needs to get picked off. In between, side storm over the edge does pick up a siege tank. The zealot with a sacrificial hit to finish it off. No spot on the high ground. Also a little bit of cloaking right there to preserve some troops. 
the siege tanks coming out of stasis the arbiter now gone second arbiter in place maybe with an emergency stasis can buy some more time here bottom right to just mine more side storm drop over that ledge more mining now happening at the nine o'clock for artosis but that bottom right is still mining happily and it looks like is there distance mining happening no so it's just this bottom left and that bottom right so technically two bases i'm not sure how long that's going to last as the siege tanks now rolling in to the bottom left a couple dragoons getting pinned back some more Dragoons and Zealots have managed to build out of all of the other bases, but I don't know that it's enough to deal with just the bulk of Siege Tanks that are here. Odd situation where it's like, okay, where's the Scout? Some Dark Templar being built last second, and this could be a heroic maneuver. Jayun once again attacking at the 9 o'clock, once again sending the SCV scattering, and again frustrating Artosis' mining. And keep in mind, he's now, so now Artosis is not mining. Bottom right is mining for Jayu, and he's lost this bottom left nexus. Did the Dark, the dark Templar spawn? There's no science vessel in place. There's some turrets at the natural expansion, but Artosis is distracted, moving up, picks off a high Templar mid-map. So a hero DT, maybe, to win the game for Jayu. Big side storm catches some observers, but also does a lot of damage on those siege tanks. Yeah, the Dark Templar clean up the Siege Tanks bottom left, so that's going to leave at least three probes mining there. Let's see if they take out the turrets as well. And all of a sudden, with that, and an attack mid-map, supply counts are even, which still doesn't put Jayu necessarily ahead as far as raw army. Artosis now staging up a wall of Siege Tanks so he can get mining again at the 9 o'clock. And Artosis is now in a pickle, where if he leaves that 9 o'clock base, he's no longer mining. But if he doesn't go and stop Jayun's economy, Jayun will end up outmining him and basically be able to outmacro him over the long term. And again, this is where I wish he had taken that 12 o'clock or 11 o'clock base earlier in the match when he had, looks like a single siege tank has been left here at the 3 o'clock to deny that base. Bottom right still mining. 35 workers out for Jayun. I wonder if he's going to refill that. Vultures engaging the Dark Templar bottom left, so not going to be able to follow that up to Artosis's frustration, I'm sure. So a task force now peeled off to potentially wipe out bottom left. A science vessel in tow, so the Dark Templar is not going to cut it here. Single photon cannon being dropped. And there's siege tanks left, so Artosis potentially in a good position to stay this off. That siege tank was cleaned up at the 3 o'clock. Dark Templar now pulling back. What are Jayun's options here? He does have some size storm latently to work with, but it is going to be tough. Going to lose this Nexus bottom left. Still mine bottom right has started to remine those emergency minerals at his natural expansion. Is he going to make a shot? A, honestly, an Arbiter stasis here could wreck Artosis' day. I don't see an Arbiter there. This is also potentially EMP bait. EMP hits all three High Templar. Big hit right there, but the Zealot's now marching up at a vertical angle, so able to get up on top of all of those siege tanks. Yes, that bottom left base has been taken out. Another Dark Templar built. It's not going to last very long. But Jayun once again disrupting mining at Artosis' 9 o'clock. Looks like he's going to potentially be able to wipe this base out once again. Let's see if he's able to wipe up that command center before the follow-up siege tanks are able to engage. Archon built out of those leftover Templar, creating a bit of a time delay. And the 9 o'clock is exploding in the air as it was taking off. So now Artosis, if he's going to remine, needs to float one of his other command centers to this location or another location to keep mining. Jay, in the meantime, still mining bottom right. Hasn't grabbed his natural expansion here. Is going to go ahead and try to grab that 3 o'clock base. Another Arbiter out in the field. 11 SCVs left for Artosis out here. 36 workers for Jayun. Artosis down in supply, but keep in mind a large portion of that is workers. And you still have that big, heavy-hitting level 3 weapons, level 2 armor. So Artosis is potentially still in it, especially if he can engage troops piecemeal. Like this, and catch just Dragoon here or there, and run around and somehow shut down Jayun's army. I will say Jayun's in a very comfortable position here, because all he has to do is reestablish these bases, get mining again, and get a base out here, and he should be in a position to win the match. Bit of a whiff of a side storm. It looks like that... Arbiter was also EMP'd. High Templar gets picked off with the few troops. So Artosis making it work. Looks like not able to, opting not to engage those Zealots as they're retreating. The Dragoons that were left at the 9 o'clock have been blocked out. Looks like an Observer is there, but a single Siege Tank flailing against them. The Siege Tank going to move in and clear out what's left. Defense Matrix on the front. He's actually been fantastic with those Defense Matrix as well. SCV is going to distance mine 
now at that 12 o'clock location for Artosis, he needs to get minerals in the bank. And that 3 o'clock base being resaturated by Jayun as it's coming online. One of them, I don't know why it was doing the return trip. That felt like it was a pretty good timing overall. So now Artosis at least is distance mining. He was trying to move that command center out. Jayun anticipating it, though, killing what the few SCVs that were left and denying that command center. So the command center going to exit as that army was cleaning up that 9 o'clock. So pulling back out, Jayun has been everywhere that Artosis isn't. And that is giving him the advantage in this map. More units starting to pour out for Jayun. He just needs to get, yeah, that macro going and get a solid unit count up to deal with what's out in the field. And he should be in a solid position. That command center now floating back out, but it's going to be a long time before Artosis is doing some solid mining again. He's down to five SCVs overall. Does have a bit of latent minerals, but he's going to have to wait Jayun out somehow. And Jayun's Unit count continues to climb. Arbiter, does it have some energy? I don't want to see the Observer. Come on. Can't get the... there. <sighs> doesn't matter. <laughs> but the frustration sometimes of not being precise. So Artosis, with the units he has, checking to make sure that additional bases weren't grabbed. Zealot's going to go ahead and clear up mines mid-map. Double the supply lead. There we got it. Doesn't have quite enough for his stasis. <laughs> that actually makes it really hard. Side from catching a few of those vultures it looks like a high templar got picked off as well and artos is trying to trail this army and pick it off is he going to go ahead and dive into the three o'clock again he needs to be very very careful with this army jayun looks like he's going to end around and rather than engaging this army i think he feels that he if in a base race situation yeah finding nothing mining there in a base race situation potentially he can go ahead and wipe out all of Artosis's holdings before he's wiped out was trying to grab that natural that's going to get captured probes dying as they're trying to move from that three o'clock that drops Jayun's probe count to 27 some zelts realizing there's mining happening at the 12 o'clock moving to that location and now Jayun's going to reposition let's see if he attacks that 12 o'clock or not some dark templar waiting in the wings to just go ahead and feast however Jayun's last mining base here in the bottom right some psi storm being dropped. I don't think that hit anything. That 3 o'clock base look, looks like it's going to potentially get wiped out by that siege shank. Dark Templar moving in, forcing a lift off. Artosis now down to two SEVs. Siege shank's moving into the 3 o'clock. Probe was still mining gas here. And so Jayun just needs one last... Well, he's up a lot of supply, actually. If he can just dive in, clear out what's left, that should be, G, uh, that should be GG. Honestly, it feels like it's GG already. It's just kind of not engaging poorly for Jayun. He should be okay. Has enough energy for an additional stasis to work with what's left. Defense Matrix on the front and the Zealots marching in. Jayun being very careful with this attack force. Look, doesn't want to get un any unfavorable trades. That's going to bring the siege tank count down to five, two Goliaths and a an science vessel left. Artos is going to GG with that. Just does not have enough. And that should be it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Great match between these two. Thanks for listening.